Hey, Mike from Music City here, and we're gonna show you another Nashville record store. Uh, I know a lot of you travel and visit the Music City, and we wanna show you where to go buy records. This is a place that's been here a long, long time. I first visited it in 1987 on my first trip to Nashville, um, and it's called Phonolux, and you're gonna see a lot of stuff inside here. And um, recently though, well, not recently, but few years back when things slowed down in the music business they uh, only opened Friday Saturday and Sunday now and you can see the hours there but uh, there's a lot of stuff inside this place that I'm looking forward to showing you and uh, we'll take a look at the front here in just a minute uh, what am I looking to buy today well I want to look through the stuff and I'm on a mission to find a copy of David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust I'm embarrassed to say I don't have one and I want to do a best of 72 and include it so I need to get either the vinyl or the CD and we'll be looking for that today. Here we are looking at the front of Phonolux off a of busy Nolansville Road and it's not too far from Nolansville Road and 440 so it's pretty easy to find and as you can see there's a big parking lot in the back. Chock full of stuff in here. And uh, you see over to the right there is the vinyl room. We'll go in there in a minute. But look at all the DVDs on the wall and all the CDs in here and all the box sets. Quite a great selection of stuff. And here we're taking a look at the huge vinyl room here off to the side. Some nice posters and bands and awesome. Let's dig in here. I see they got the rock collectible section is where I need to go. Great selection of rock books we're gonna dig into here. It's another view of the big, big, big record room here. Quite a lot to look through. And maybe cassettes are your thing, who knows? But there's quite a bit to choose from there too. Very neat selection of um, CD box sets there. And you got more up on the wall up there. And this guy said it was okay to take video as long as he was in it. And look at all the collectible stuff up there on the, on the wall. Very, very big on country here. All this is country. Country CDs. And there's back in that record room. Look at all the posters on the wall. Really nice selection of posters up on the wall. We've got some t-shirts. More box sets. Really a remarkable store. You need to come here if you're coming to Nashville. I think we're gonna go check out. Really nice new arrival section here. Look through some of this with me here. CD or other copy here today. I'm going to get this one. Not bad price for 20 bucks. We found it. Finally, the kid has Bowie. Three. All right, well, we're leaving Phonolux, and I mentioned they have a big parking lot, so look at This is a busy Saturday afternoon at Phonolux. Plenty of free parking, and man, I hadn't been here in ages, and I was so glad I did. This place is so chock full of stuff. I mean, you know, records and CDs and oddities. If you're coming to Nashville, you really need to come here and look at records. So we're gonna take a look. There's my Mustang, by the way. We're gonna go in the car and take a look at what I bought here in a second. All right, well, my trip to Phonolux sure cheered up this uh, dreary Saturday. And I told you I was working on a Best of 1972 uh, video and I was missing something really vital in the 
Ziggy Stardust record, and they didn't have it on CD, they didn't have it in the vinyl section, but when I look through the new releases, I think you saw me grab that. That's the uh, reissue. I don't know when it, let's see. I'm not sure when it was reissued, but it it's in pristine condition and 20 bucks. That's not too bad for uh, such a great classic record like that. Uh, I found another 1972 that I had on CD, but I wanted to have it on vinyl too because it's got a cool, cool gatefold, and that's Rod Stewart's uh, Never a Dull Moment. Five bucks, and it's in pristine condition. The cover as well as the uh, vinyl. So again, uh, I was really surprised how good overall the prices were on used vinyl and here's another one i got in pristine condition i'm working on a collection of uh, live 70s uh albums on vinyl and i got the Loggins and messina one uh, on stage double record set uh not yet yeah, it is a gatefold and uh perfect condition both records uh, the cover's beautiful so five bucks again i mean gosh what a deal and i think you know my love for um for rock biographies and i recently did the autobiography special uh video that you want to check out but i found two really good ones um one i didn't even know about adam ant uh stand and deliver his an autobiography this was 12 bucks uh you know probably a pretty rare book i don't know that it's sold very well i'm not a huge adam, adam fan and uh, but i am interested in reading this because of the era you know it was a very interesting era in music you know kind of early 80s when they kind of you know him and his uh, Adam and the Ants kind of picked up and became popular and you know kind of following the you know the punk days and moving into new wave so I'm really interested in reading that he, he certainly is an interesting character and I doesn't he live in America well I'll let you know after I read it and lastly I think I had this in paperback but I'm really nice to have this in uh, hardcover and this is Linda Ronstadt's memoir uh, it says a musical memoir so I'm assuming it's an autobiography uh, beautiful condition, nice glossy pictures inside. Six bucks. I'm looking looking forward to reading that. Uh, Linda sure had an interesting career, but anyway, hey, uh, I I'm doing these to show you uh, record stores when you travel. If you're like me, and especially if you come to Music City, there's a lot of great record stores, and definitely Phonolux wants to be on your list. Very convenient to find free parking. There's a lot of neat little restaurants. There's a great Mexican restaurant right next door that you need to visit called La Hacienda. So make make a day of it. I think I'm going to get some Mexican food right now. So have a great day. This is Mike from Music City. Hey, if you like what we're doing, hit the like button, hit the share button. And also, please, please, please subscribe. When I look this morning, I'm at 8, 10, trying to get to that thousand by the end of the year, and we're getting there. So thank you so much for your support. Mike from Music City signing off.